Erdogan is not just emblematic of the failures in Turkey and the, the huge risks that um, faces the people of Turkey, it also is emblematic of the weakness of the Council of Europe countries in not being able to implement any of the safeguards that are required for Council of Europe countries in relation to human rights. In particular, the extreme isolation of Mr. Ocalan, the incommunicado holding of Mr. Ocalan, shows that um, you know this kind of behavior can take place in plain sight. It is not happening. Of course, Mr. Ocalan is being buried alive, and we don't know whether he is still at Imrali or elsewhere. Three years with no contact. But it is also burying justice alongside, because what we are saying is we as human beings are willing to let this happen to a great visionary, somebody who has written 60 books, 13 of which were written from prison. That we are willing to do this to somebody simply because another powerful state who, whom we want to use in order to get, you know, big powerful states ends is uh, is doing so and we say we see right now is that we have a number of international institutions that are not fulfilling their mandate there is a lot of talk there is a lot of hot air but there is not enough actual practice when it comes to um, doing the things, the hard things that it takes to, to have such a mandate. Other, I mean, it, it, we might as well not have these bodies because then we can be as lawless as some other of the countries that we choose to comment about. In, instead, you know, we have these bodies, we pretend as though we care about justice, we pretend as though we care about human rights, and yet a man can be held for three years in communicado. We all know about it, the Council of Europe knows about it, everybody makes statements about it, people come on TV, but what are they doing practically? What are these politicians doing and why should we re-elect them in the upcoming European elections?